What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. Just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget about the contest going on. Uh, and I'll send a link to that in the, for the last video. I didn't actually set a date for the uh, contest to be over. But the date is going to be January 1st, 2017. That way we start off the new year right. And uh, that'll be on uh, the next video. The way we're going to do it is um, you're going to get $40 for bulk resupply or $40 for Marine Depot. Or if you're in the UK or some other place, uh, you let me know and we'll see what we can do from there. I plan on getting a lot of new fish for the new tank. Um, of course, the corals. I have plenty of corals. I just need to get some super glue and just let stuff grow in place. I did uh, get a package this week, and it's from uh, Danny's Reef Tank. I actually won his uh, contest he was doing. He was giving away a bunch of uh, Kimmy Pure and a uh, Finding Nemo DVD. I think the contest is still going on right now. So if you want, go check him out. It's called Danny's Reef Tank, and uh, he has a YouTube channel and lots of stuff going on with his videos. I've never used Kimmy Pure myself. Uh, I'm really looking forward to using this. And he also sent me a bottle of Vitachem. I did put that in the uh, fridge for now. And I'll let you guys know how it goes with the products. And of course, I'm just going to kick back and uh, enjoy this uh, Finding Nemo DVD. Now, for the 180 build, it's going pretty good. Um, it is kind of a mess right now because I have frags all over the place. Uh, also, with the sugar fine sand. Um, it's, it looks awesome, but really it's a, a pain in the butt. So what I started doing is siphoning out all the uh, sugar fine sand. I do have sand in there just because of my uh, RAS. But I am going to be taking out even more sand and just have the uh, back of the tank full of sand so my RAS can hang out there at night. Like I said, the sand was getting all over the place. It was covering up some chalices. Some, some of my chalices did get uh, damaged because I just didn't catch the uh, sand on them. And as you know, the tissue started to uh, die and pay for it because I just didn't catch it. The sand blows all over the place really easily. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe try bare bottom for a little bit. One thing that I wanted to tell you is when I was siphoning the uh, sand out of the tank, uh, I had some PVC and then I used the hose. Um, I was using my mouth and um, I swallowed some salt water and uh, I got to tell you that I think that salt water and sand messed me up pretty good. So I found a little siphon bulb that comes with the hose and uh, I will not be doing that again because like I said I did get jacked up for a whole week. And I am going to go ahead and buy uh, some more super glue. I ran out of the super glue. The uh, Home Depot super glue that I bought actually worked pretty good guys. Um, it's on the cheap end, but it actually does the job. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more glue and uh, start gluing in some of these frags to the live rock. Um, this is the basic structure that I went with. The only thing that I need to do now is, uh, of course, take out some more sand and uh, hook up my T5s. Um, I do miss the T5s on the tank. So I'm going to do a cleaner job with the T5s. Now, right now, I don't have any filter socks on my tank. And what I'm using is this filtered floss bonded material. And I just put it on the intake of the overflows. And it's doing a good job collecting all the crud. I do plan on getting some new filter socks later on. I don't know what kind yet. Probably some uh, bargain filter socks. But something that works. But this right here uh, is what all I'm using. And it works really good. My return pump that I'm using is just the uh, SCA return pump. I think it's an Atman pump. Um, it came with my cube and I've been using that. It's actually doing a good job. I do have the Sichi there as a standby, but uh, I may go ahead and use it later on. But my ultimate goal is to go ahead and get a DC pump just so I can control it and probably have it at a low volume anyways. Um, I do plan on getting an adductors so I can go ahead and put it on as a return. Um, I've never really seen anybody use them on the in their YouTube videos so I want to go ahead and get some adductors and I'll probably get those from Marine Depot because they have some that has all kinds of different fittings 
that come with them. So I'm gonna probably get them from them. For the tank itself, I don't want to add too much more rock. Uh, I would like this look that I have right here. Um, I do want to add some more arches and uh, maybe a little bit more rock just for some zoanthids to grow on. Um, but this is it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Um, like I said, I do want to add some more fish, let these corals grow out, and just super glue a lot of these frags to the live rock. The live rock itself is the same rock that I used from my 120. And it's pretty crazy that it filled out the 180 pretty good. Um, I had all of this in the 120. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you swallow salt water and it messes your stomach up, don't forget you eat your bananas. And don't forget to enter the contest for the uh, $40. Thanks, guys. You guys take care and have a good one. Merry Christmas.